Like everyone else, I worked out occasionally and, you know, would be excited to go to the gym and, and have so much fun, but then, you know, you always find excuses. And then I saw an advertisement to become a Zumba instructor. And I thought, what better way to no longer have excuses than to be the instructor? In 2002, I was an intern at the Latin American UN. And I lived in Washington, DC, and all of my friends um, came from Latin America. They either grew up in that culture or were really interested in that culture. So I spent the entire summer salsa dancing and drinking margaritas and um, just really being immersed in that culture and loving it. I lived by myself uh, in DC, so there'd be evenings where I was just you know, hanging out late night by myself, and an infomercial came up for this Latin dance craze, Zumba. And so I bought the VHS tapes. At that time I had, I had a car accident, not much prior to that, and um, the healing process, there was a lot of anxiety that I had, especially living by myself, being a young college kid. So I kind of used the workouts to release that energy and be able to you know, sleep better and not have just you know the crazy anxiety that you have as a young, young adult being alone in a new city. I kind of looked at it as my therapy and I really started to love it. It was probably around 2008. I started having some health issues. I got put on some medication that caused me to unexpectedly and very quickly gain a ton of weight. So I just basically was like, well, I'm gonna start tracking what I eat and going to the gym more often. You know, the normal thing that everybody tries to do when they need to lose weight. And then I saw an advertisement to become a Zumba instructor. So that's what I decided to do. I totally outside of the box for myself, booked a hotel room, took a vacation day from work, drove to Baltimore alone, showed up at the convention center with people who were just amazing and all sizes, all shapes, all ethnicities, just everybody loved dancing and loved Zumba. And it was the coolest, most exciting experience I've ever had. It was very, my very first experience of being with the Zumba community. And my Zumba instructor days were born <laughs> from there. The last couple of years, we have been traveling to New York to um, take trainings from a lot of the Zumba professionals. And in 2020, crazy enough, as crazy as that year was, we still managed to go. We were, got to get our picture taken with Beto, the creator of Zumba, and that was one of the coolest experiences because when he comes out on stage, I mean, he, he invented the style of Zumba, but he also invented the charisma and the coolness of, of just anyone can do this, but yet you feel so good while you're doing it. So he invented sort of the attitude of Zumba and we finally got to meet him. So that was a really cool experience. I became an instructor in October of 2011. So I'm almost to 10 years now. And there have just been so many um, friendships made and new experiences with those friends. Um, we just have fun, we laugh. They're with me through having a baby and getting engaged and getting married and all the things that happen through life. So it's just really good friendships is the best part. And, um, and then getting to dance with those best friends. I mean, who doesn't want to do that all the time? So. <laughs>